call it the, uh, the Craigslist rebuild, I think is what they call it. Yep, lost receipts, just remember that. Yeah. Yes, lost receipts. No receipts. Well, in a special video here at Hoist House, we're gonna use some fluid film to undercoat that really sweet VW microbus there. So we'll tell you more about that as we get going. Time to start working. Been shaking the can for about five minutes now. I'm gonna pop it open, then stir it up a bunch. Dustin's hitting all the loose stuff off there. We're gonna hit it with some brake clean, get everything cleaned off, then blow the whole area in the bottom off. The van's not perfect, but it's in very good shape. We're just gonna preserve it. Fluid Film was kind enough to send me this stuff. It's not sponsorship. I don't have a coat at this time. If I do before the video comes out, I'll let you know. Let's get to it. This is Fluid Film Black. I'm interested to see what the consistency is. I think it's gonna look pretty good. This stuff is lanolin based and it does self heal and wicks back together if you have any problems. You can also take this stuff off with chemicals and cleaners rather than with the rubberized undercoating or petroleum base. It doesn't want to come off. So this does some advantages if you have to do vehicle repairs. Got two of these cups you can carry around with you to hold the paint in and I got a pretty large assortment of brushes to try to get in all the nooks and crannies. I also do have a can of it and spray form for any place we can't reach. I haven't seen anybody on YouTube do this with a brush, so might be someone on uncharted territory. I think it's gonna be much better in the environment. It's not gonna get on everybody else's scars that's at Hoist House, which is also a benefit. We've gotten all the loose stuff off. Dustin's going through, hitting with brake clean. We're gonna blow everything down and then give it a minute or two and we'll start coating it. We're basically gonna start at the front and, and the outside, work our way in and work our way back. Seems to spread okay. On rust, anyway. Uh, well, hey, just consider this rust be gone. Your rust be hiding. This thing is going to be fully restored by the time we're done. Yep, just a couple brush strokes away. We call it the, uh, the Craigslist rebuild, I think is what they call it. Yep, lost the receipts, just remember that. Yeah. Yes, lost the receipts. No receipts. Yeah, I wish the whole car was like this frame right here, just paint over the oil that's been dripping for 25 years. It's pretty undercoated. You can live in it, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I guess you live in a Prius too, but... Not as many amenities in Prius. Probably shouldn't have my mouth open right now. Breathe through your nose. Breathe through your nose. I have plenty of masks if you want one. Yes, yeah, so do I. <laughs> oh, I just got a nice big glob on my face. So I can wipe that off. No, oh, that's a frame. Well, it's got a new control arm on it. That's good. You got more on me than I do on the car at this point. Yeah, I'm trying to think about it. I do think, if I remember correctly, it takes a couple days for it to fully dry and cure. Yeah. But technically, he's never 100% dry. It always heals itself. But thankfully, it will come off with some washing. I mean, you can make everything look new once you're done with this, so. It actually doesn't smell that crazy either compared to like uh, spray. No, surprisingly, once, I, once you're not smelling the can, it's not that bad. I literally had the whole bench seat out of this thing. Get into the blower motor. It was a nightmare. Yeah, I would imagine. So then three days of electrical work. And then somehow I actually found the right resistor for it, which is insane. It's only 24 bucks, not bad. I found these little cups when I was doing my, uh, sealing my tile. They actually, uh, really they hold the, the magnets on them, they hold the brush out of the fluid. Something called the handy cup too. It's actually super handy. It's a handy thing. <laughs> and they're like three bucks, so they're, you know, when you're done with them, it's not pretty good to throw them out. It's funny, people make for me all the time. They're like, what's your favorite tool in the shop? I'm like, I'm wearing it. It's like my, my little headlamp, dude. My $3 headlamp is my best tool in the shop. Be interested to see what this looks like when it's dried. Because from seeing the stuff that's sprayed on, it looks like it's pretty nice. It almost looks like paint. The really nice thing is that it should at least even out as it dries, which should take up for any idiocracy for me brushing this on on my side. So. You don't have a rivet gun, do you? I do, actually. Um, Uh-oh, bringing up the heavy artillery. Oh, that's actually all I have is like the handheld one. Yeah, well, that's fine. I just want to see if there's a longer... Yeah, hoist house is a working shop. You can come in and rent a hoist to work on your car like the gentleman's doing beside me. 
There's actually five cars in here in a boat right now, not including this. So if you're in Troy, Michigan, and you need to work on your car, give them a call. Hoist House. I'll link everything in the description. It's adhering to the arms really well. Yeah, it did to the front arm, so I think mm. it's not a bad call. I don't know if it's a material or the coating or finish that's on them or what, but it's definitely certain surfaces take to this stuff better than others. Probably getting a really nice shot of the back of my head right now. Professionally undercoated chassis. Doesn't matter that we're not professionals at this, we're professionals at something. So. And then do you want to do the center or do you want to leave it or what do you think? Um, I'd probably just leave it, I think. I don't think there's any prizes in doing that. And that's perfectly fine. I, yeah, I honestly think we've got almost everything. We can we can jack it up the sky and get out here with lights if you want to. We can do in the wheel wells if you want to. Really, it's it's up to you. Yeah, I think we covered pretty good ground so far. Yeah, I would like to just rub the the excess off the rubber stuff just so you guys don't have any trouble. But other than that, I think we're actually I think it's pretty good. Just gonna wipe the excess off the rubber hoses. Make sure that comes off nicely, thankfully. Shift linkage. The camera's probably about to die. Yeah, I think in the next day or two as it kind of weeps together and finds its center, it's going to look pretty nice. Even more than it does now. Uh, what I'll do is I'll leave that, that spray can with you guys. Okay. So that if you want to touch up or if he wants to touch up stuff, he can use the spray can. But I would put that drop cloth down. Yeah. That was a wise move. Pretty sure my beanie is now mostly fluid film. Yeah, my shirt is very wet. I just yeah. looked down. Your, your mask looks, looks like you've been huffing. Uh, yeah. I'd... Like you just stuck your face in the can. <laughs> no, see, uh, not to, they didn't actually pay me to say this, but you can actually do this to your new car and then you don't have to scrape the 400 pounds of rust and junk that we did off so there is an advantage to coating a new car i'm happy with it that's awesome that's what matters yeah if fluid film film on my uh step counter on your fluid filmer yeah i have fluid film on my fluid film oh the big brown van is big brown done give you a little overview of what everything looks like it looks like dustin and i used about a half gallon of fluid film to go ahead and undercoat the whole thing i'm pretty sure if you weren't using a brush and you were spraying it you'd probably get uh, four cars out of a gallon it's a rough estimate definitely would go smoother spraying but it, it, in an environment where you have a lot of stuff going on you can't afford to get over spray and everything brushing is definitely the way to go i'm gonna leave them this full can of the spray so they can go ahead and do any touch-up areas as it dries and it kind of evens out and see if it needs any coating spots or if we missed anything. Thank Fluid Film for providing the product. I don't have a code to give you guys at this point. If I do have a code by the time I put the video out, I will link it in the description. Definitely check out Fluid Film. I know you can get it at Amazon. I know you can get it other places. And I think you can get it at some local hardware stores as well. Stuff works well. Again, it's lanolin based. It's not oil, so it wicks and self-heals as it gets in it. And it will be able to be removed with easier much much easier than if you have a rubberized undercoating on it where you have to grind it off if you have to do a new welding so check them out and yeah, this is this is dustin from hoist house i can't thank them again for letting me abuse our virgin friendship here what did you think of the product as we were using it i would say overall it was really good it was very easy to apply um it went on very smoothly um very clean overall too was was not bad not very messy at all um as far as odor goes too, from what I'm used to, it was not bad. So overall, happy with it. We'll see how it goes, but we're really happy with the product so far. Yeah, if you guys, if you guys don't mind, I'll probably swing back by in a couple of days just to see if what it, if it looks like as it's kind of dried yeah. and wicked together. Of course. It'll be interesting to see what it looks like. I, I like how it looks now. I think we yeah. agreed on that, but I think is it sort of levels itself out, which I think is naturally supposed to be by the way it works. It should be neat to see how it, it kind of fills all the little gaps that might've been there that we didn't see because we were putting it on. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm very excited to see how it kind of finishes up and, and sets. So it looks very good, man. I'm, we're really excited about it. Again, I, I can't thank these guys enough. Again, if you're in Troy and you need to work on your car, check them out. I'll link everything in the description. If you guys want to tell them where you are right now, we can throw that in there. Yeah, yeah. So 1150 Naughton Road in Troy, um, just off 75 between Stevenson and Rochester. Um, very easy to find. Just give us a call. Back at Hoist House is actually Tuesday. We put the fluid film on on Friday, so we wanted to see how everything worked out, and it did exactly what it, they said it does in the pamphlet. It actually prepped and evened itself out, so any of the brush strokes and things that 
or imperfections that we put into it is actually even out and it looks awesome so i'll show you that and then we'll end the video everything evened out nicely i'm really happy with the product and how it applied and giving it some time to relax it definitely crept in and you see very little of the brush strokes that we did which is very awesome and with that we're gonna end the video again huge thank you to fluid film for providing the product and enormous thank you to hoist house for not only letting me do it here but providing me help and getting me a vehicle do dog so like share subscribe check out hoist house if you're in a michigan i'll see you next time thank you all again Maybe we should introduce the van before we you know in the video it's an 87 vw van again it's actually a really neat vehicle it's four-wheel drive manual transmission I mentioned it has a two liter jetta four cylinder hose and I think it's set up for the mid-90s, early 2000s, I can't remember which for sure, but it's definitely a very cool van. I did part of a feature on it in a previous video, but I'll link that one above, or actually below in the description.